Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here and welcome to a special little video. This time it is about the newly released prototype of Gex Tail Time of Gex Jr. So I don't want Gex Jr. to uh, you know have him to be talking over me, so I'm gonna try and be quiet when he makes his uh, five references in this video and then that's about it. Um, and yes, Regis, that is my final answer. Yes, uh, Regis and Kathy Lee uh, references. So this is Gex Jr. And it is a prototype that was released a couple days ago, and it was uh, the game was allegedly nightmare. allegedly in development by Image Builder Software Incorporated. As you can see here, I'm putting up on the screen. These are some of the games that uh, Image Builder worked on. Actually, it might be all of them. They did, a, for blues clues. they did a bunch of educational games. So when you hear the word Gex Jr., you're thinking, okay, probably this is going to be some kind of educational game. I'm your father, Luke. Star Wars spoiler there. Um, you know, that, that's what it seems like. You know, that this would be like an educational Gex game. The funny thing is that this is dated from 2001. So this Can is in a... Tale time? This is in a post... Uh, Gex 3 world. You look at the model here, and it's like, you know, obviously this this smaller version of Gex. And yes, we just, that is my final answer. And it's just, it's it's so strange because I don't think anyone had heard about this. I'm pretty sure, like, it just pretty much just came out of nowhere. Like a tubby nightmare. Um, you got the media museum instead of the media dimension. So this world here, who knows if it's like some kind of hub world? I'm guessing that's like an inside joke there with like the guy on the screen there. As of now, we don't have any more real information about it. But my hope is that we'll end up getting more info, you know, through, father, Luke. you know, maybe through. Um, I don't know, like, you know, maybe an interview with Image Builder, any of the people that worked there over the years, maybe you can look through the credits, um, you know, because I mean, I think it would be fantastic to learn a little bit more. There's the abilities that we have, by the way, uh, we have, we have this. Makes a weird yes, sound. We, just, that is my final answer. we also have the tailspin, and listen. It's, uh, whoa, holy, okay, hold up, what's this glitch? If you like, whoa, you seen this? Serious control, serious far control right there. Okay, so if you, yeah, so if you like press circle, you know, in succession, you have to sort of, you have to let it go. Otherwise it would just keep repeating. Yes, it's almost like it repeats the animation. Yeah, obviously a prototype, obviously not much really to it. Um, what the heck is that? Look at this. The guy up there again. But yeah, this is it. I'm I'm going to say like it's very, very likely not a hoax. I know some people are like, oh, could it be like a late April and Fool's yes, prank? Just, that is my final answer. And hey, look, it's not impossible, but I doubt it. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Hopefully, there'll be some more information revealed about Gex Jr. in the future. I think it'd be fantastic if we could learn a little bit more about it and how it all came to be and, and why it ended up not, you know, going ahead. Um, you know, because it's, it's you know, a, four, a fourth Gex game. There was Gex 4. Gex 4 was in development for a short time, or at least at the planning stage. Um, and it's funnily enough, it probably would have been around the time when this was being worked on. So, yeah, very interesting stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and I will see you with the next one. Goodbye.